Teacher, can you explain again how an object that is in motion, like a spinning top in the question, be at equilibrium as well? I mean, it's quite straightforward to think of something not moving to be in equilibrium. But for something that is moving, it just seems odd to think of it as being in equilibrium. Sure, I'll explain again. You will be amazed what the laws of physics allow you to do. Here, let me show you. But I do need to stress that the object must be moving at constant velocity to be in equilibrium. Do you remember when an object falls in air? Air resistance would act on the object in the opposite direction of gravity. Uh -huh. And air resistance can cause the rock here to reach a constant velocity? Yes, I remember that it is called terminal velocity. Good. So, let's assume it keeps travelling at this terminal velocity for quite a while. Do you notice that air resistance would be equal and opposite of weight? Here, let me draw the force diagram for you. As you can see, you can represent the forces acting on the rock as arrows and labelling them. Make sure that the two arrows are of equal length. Why equal length? To show that the forces are of equal magnitude. I see. At terminal velocity, the weight of the rock is equal to the air resistance of the rock. The two forces would cancel each other out and there should be no resultant force, which is why this rock is at equilibrium. But teacher, this rock is moving. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a major misconception. This is the case of dynamic equilibrium, where the object is moving, but there is no net force acting on it and no change in velocity. An object at rest and at equilibrium is said to be at static equilibrium. I see. I understand it now. But teacher, how do we prove that an object or a body is at equilibrium? Shouldn't there be some sort of, you know, experiment? 